identified. <laughs> The element that we are missing out, the communities are not involved in the monitoring process. These local communities can actually monitor. We have developed a comprehensive monitoring tool, we developed it in Moroto. I don't know whether the owner of Moroccans knows that. But it is now being used, I think, by ECHO. We have what we call the district minimum watch platforms. Each partner has a say, even the communities can actually monitor. As so many speakers today have hinted on so many of them, things such as employment, royalties uh, to the government, to the district level government, and to the community. So I'm going to break them down further. Queen Mazila did not say that when I went to Muliba, I would go to the Kutora for Itaka. Over to the Katamina, and I took it. I can't get a Chaka event to go out. So I want to have clearance as guarantees from government and from Rezor how we are going to handle this. Then I can advise these people to fully cooperate. The kingdom is how our communities are going to benefit and compensate it. You know, compensation does not end at the point of paying out money. But you have changed the livelihood of the community, a community which has been living together for 100 years, 2,022 years, and you pay him one day or her, and you say that you've compensated. So we want the, the investors to not only end at the payment or compensation, but work with the people for a period of at least 20 to 10 years. You are strong on the land surface. You give me the view of Kumbulu Bibio. That may say, you know, what is under you, even if you are live on it. If there is wrong, you know what you are. Government here, I'm about to be a change of convention. The job I get was the two teach job. The laws are guided. The laws are guided the government how to get that member from you, from you, the one you say you are the project is long term, it's going to be here for quite long and we are in the process now of assessing the environmental and the social impacts. Now within the environment and social impacts, public hearing is the highest form of disclosure and transparency. So we've been doing uh, scoping, we've done lead agency consultation with the, the districts, the kingdom, the Ministry of Energy and Mineral Development. So today we are here to consult the general public in a process that is called public hearing. So we have not yet concluded 